The HomePod has been around for some time, and we still hear people say that you need an Apple Music subscription in order for Siri to play music on the HomePod. That's actually not true. Siri works on HomePod with all your podcasts, Beats 1 Live Radio, and any music that's in your iCloud Music Library, including iTunes Store purchases and music matched with iTunes Match. iTunes Match analyzes songs that are in your iTunes Library, no matter where you downloaded or imported them from. It then matches them with songs that are on Apple Music, and automatically uploads them to your iCloud library, which can be accessed on any Apple device that supports iCloud Music Library, including Apple TV. The service costs $25 a year, which comes out to just over $2 a month, compared to $10 a month for an individual Apple Music plan. You'll be able to ask Siri to play any of your matched songs on your HomePod. There are some limitations, like not all songs or audio formats being supported, so be aware of that. Apple Music is the obvious choice, since you can play almost any song you can think of, but if you're trying to save some money, iTunes Match is a great choice. To begin, you'll need access to either a Mac or PC, and make sure you have the latest version of iTunes. At the top of the iTunes window, click Store. Under Music Quick Links at the right side of the window, click iTunes Match. Then click the Subscribe button. Enter the Apple ID and password you use on your iPhone. Once you've successfully subscribed, Click Add This Computer and enter your password. iTunes will automatically scan your iTunes library for matches. Note that not all songs will be matched, since you cut off songs from CDs that never made it onto Apple Music. Anytime you add new music to your iTunes library, it'll automatically be scanned and added to your iCloud Music library, assuming it was successfully matched. If you've purchased music from services like Amazon Music or Google Play Music, you should be able to log in and download the original audio files to your computer. They should then be imported into iTunes and automatically matched. If you run into any issues with automatic matching, you can also click on File, Library, and Update iCloud Music Library. Once your songs are matched and uploaded, you can instantly start listening to them on the HomePod by simply asking Siri to play your music. Hey Siri, play When a Fire Starts to Burn by Disclosure. Okay, let's hear When a Fire Starts to Burn by Disclosure. When a fire starts to burn, right? On iPhone, just head to Music Within Settings and enable iCloud Music Library. You should now see the songs you've matched in your library. You can also tap the iCloud icon to download them to your iPhone. By default, your iTunes Match subscription will automatically renew every year. If you'd like to cancel your subscription, just go to Settings on your iPhone, tap on your name, then tap iTunes and App Stores, tap your Apple ID at the top, and tap View Apple ID. Tap Subscriptions and then Cancel. You'll continue to have access until your year-long subscription expires. iTunes Match is the perfect option for somebody who is considering buying the HomePod but doesn't want to pay $10 a month for Apple Music. This has been Vadim with Apple Insider. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. When a fire starts to...